everyone, hello everyone, and welcome to Marvel Man's Game Room. And today, we're going to be reading, continuing our reading of Batman Arkham Knight, the Prelude comic series. So we are on number 10. So let's enjoy the artwork real quick. So last time, we were, we were just captured by Calendar Man. So let's see how Batman takes care of this. Once again, my eggs Benedict go to waste, Master Bruce. <clears throat> Burning days. Wayne Courthouse. That's where he was heading, heading when we spoke last night, Tim. I just went through the whole place, Barbara, and there's no sign of him other than a couple of broken walls. <clears throat> Where the hell are you, huh? Must have big Saturday night plans. Hot steel, oat, cut oatmeal and cinnamon, rendered cold and worthless. Master Tim can't find you, so neither the Joker, so neither the Joker is back, either the Joker is back from the dead or you've met another Ricoch ricochet rocket ricochet one two one hundred and twenty three one hundred and twenty four give him water one hundred and twenty five one hundred and twenty six I'm trying to look into it, Alfred, but right now I'm kind of busy with protecting Bloodhaven from all of Gotham's cast offs <sighs> Sunday's down. Let's see what Monday has to offer. Crap. It's not even been 72 hours, Lucius. The boys are on the case, and I'm spending the day down in the cave trying to find even the hint of a signal. Yes, well, this is the possibility we live with every night. We have protocols in place should it become serious. 72 hours can go by in a flash, or it can take an eternity, but every moment in time is there to be relished, Batman. He hasn't been sighted since Friday, A.K. Maybe he's dead. Impossible. I'm flying south to check on the malicious preparation death stroke. Let me know the moment you have a sighting. Monday rots. Tuesday. Keep him busy while I run to cash in on the insurance policy I invested in nine months ago. <clears throat> yes, Barbara. I'm on my way to the fundraiser now. I was just waiting for a friend who isn't coming. The remote mountains of Valle de las Grada, Gr Grota, I'm not going to try to butcher that. Deathstroke sounded urgent. The night's visit could mean we're ready to roll. Good, the men are itching to start using all the hardware we designed. Remember, you're sitting in back on the way to the compound. The night always sits in front. Hey, wait up! As you can see, we've adopted the vehicle technology to your specifications in a number of ways, giving us coverage in the air and on the ground. Plus, the weaponry you passed over to us these past few months has rise to rise the bar for exactly what kind of hand-to-hand -hand damage we can deliver. We've got the best mercenaries from across the globe ready to follow you follow you into You too. Raise your weapons. Kill me and this entire operation is yours to command and profit from. Is that an order, sir? 
Absolutely. Then let's get you bleeding. The man you are facing cannot be underestimated. I know him inside and out. He is relentless, cunning, and he destroys everything he touches. And on his worst day, he is your he is your better in every possible way. So being the best is not nearly good enough. Time's growing short. Deathstroke will be back in a couple of days for the rest of your training. The reward is you win Gotham. But winning Gotham means defeating its dark champion and exposing his secrets. And the secret is he's only human. I've been preparing for this my whole life. And I expect you all to rise to the occasion. Because my secret is, I'm only merciful once. You still breathing? I think I need a new pair of pants. Ugh. Grundy smash, Batman! I built the seven Grundies to bring you to this point. Get off, Grundy! Exhausting your body is shutting down. The need for rest is overwhelming, even for someone as strong as you. Time marches on, and life is just death's opening act. Uh, grande dizzy. Uh, yeah. I can see that even after seven days, you still have some life in you, Batman. You think you've had a hard week, hmm? You sick bastard. Imagine young Jaden here. He didn't even exist a week ago. Now here he is in all his newborn glory. In the end, both of you made it through a week alive. His mother must be worried sick. I want to watch you die, Batman. It's all I've ever wanted since you first intruded into my life. Wah. I bided my I bided my time in Gotham's dank and dark cells and made a promise that I would be there for your fall whenever it was. And now I've realized that you were on my schedule the entire time. There are a year's worth of people on this list, random as the days on a calendar. Over the past week, they have all been unknowingly poisoned. Wah. They'll die in the next 24 hours unless you and your exhaustion save them all. And then you have next to nothing left. I want you to return here alone. Fail to follow my request, bring any of your partners with you, and the baby dies. Simple. Save them all, Batman. Then I will kill you. Here's Vicky Vale, exclusive with an update on tonight's surprising events here on Miyagani Island. Just as Gotham has seen its safe walk scores rise in the wake of the Arkham City incident, two unsuspecting Gothamites found their night was anything but safe. Are you kidding? This Dark Knight guy totally took care of business. What could be safer? I love this town. All he asked, well, all he asked, well, kind of more like demanded, was that I call you and give you this list to read on the air. Oh, and then he said something about poisoning, so there's that. What well, looks to be over 300 names handed to this reporter, along with their alleged death sentence, stay tuned as we transcribe the list for our viewers. 
and to find out exactly what is happening to these 300 plus Gothamites. We'll go straight to the man himself. <clears throat> what you're seeing now is live footage. Son of a car, now! <sighs> Sorry, Owens. This was the first empty driver's seat I found. No worries, I hate my partner, but is there any chance you could slow? No. Instant chase. Alice Romana, Clayton, and Tone. Again, if you are or know of any of the names on this list, please assist them immediately by getting them directly to one of the Gotham's six dozen hospitals. Word is coming in from all around the city that every hospital has called in extra staff to deal with the incoming barrage. And while the city wakes to a potential mass murder, Gotham's finest have now arrived on the scene, presumably to take Batman into custody. Before that, though, Maybe it's time we learn exactly who is behind the mask that keeps the city safe, sound, and scared. Step away from Batman. Right the hell now. Uh, seems one of the Dark Knight's agents has appeared on the scene. And rescued Batman. Nice grab, Robin. I'm downloading the names from the network's transcription now. Looks like 365 exactly. That cannot be just a coincidence, Timothy. It must be Julian Day. It looks like he's been working Bruce over for a week. I've never seen him so go this vile. Robin tests are coming back positive for polynym. Drivative, derivative poison that has delivered whatever. It's treatable within a small window of time, but who knows how long these people have been walking around with this. My father's got the cops moving fast, and from everything I'm hearing, Robin, it looks like the entire city is pitching in to help. Good, because we may not have time have Batman for this one, Oracle. You just get Bruce back up on his feet. And let Gotham show him what it's learned from his example. Who's... Walter, you startled me. You know I need my rest before the Yacht Club tomorrow. What's this? Walter, turn on the TV when you get yourself to the ho and then get yourself to the hospital immediately. Love the Riddler. P.S. Don't worry about a reward. I already took it. 17. That's it? Why aren't our people out there finding more of them? We have their damn names. Because we've also got 800 panicked hip hypochondriacs who share names with real victims. Dr. Tompkins, that's why. Check the names from the GCPD's list and transfer all the actuals to Gotham Memorial, Hillary. In the meantime, we need to find more volunteers to spread out into the city in case the people who need our help can can't get to. I am Azrael. I have found three of the named victims. I will bring more throughout the night. The Order of Saint Dumas has got them under its protection. Guess we found our volunteers. Let's get back to work. With over 300 of the poison victims now receiving treatment during the past 24 hours, the initial pessimism has given way to renewed optimism. 
However, now that the immediate danger is behind us, new questions are rising from Gotham's leading politicians. Here we go again. And the song remains the same. Questions about Batman, a vigilante thought to be an urban legend, sent, sent months ago. The most important one is, did Batman's involvement save lives today? Or did his mere presence endanger them in the first place? And where is the Batman now? Has Gotham fights for the life of 365 of its citizens? Oh, don't fret, Miss Vale. I'm sure it's only a matter of minutes until the Batman does something tremendously insane like going out to save the city once again in all his Frankenstein monster glory. Here to help us understand the events of the past day is longtime Gotham commissioner and current candidate for mayor, James Gordon. The latest update is that thanks to the quick action of Gotham's finest and its citizens, there has been no lives lost and... Commissioner, how deeply is the GCPD and your campaign, for that matter, preparing to get in bed with a vigilante who seemingly answers to no one? What the hell are you talking about? Don't you think the voters have the right to know more about the man who may have endangered citizens, especially when he appears to work so closely with you? Listen, lady. We got people who were about to die tonight. The man, the men, the women of GCPD made sure that didn't happen. And the only way we were able to do that was because someone gave us their names. God only knows what he had to do to get it. Exactly how can people vote for you if you are, aren't concerned where information like that comes from and who it comes from? So don't vote for me. You want to fight a war about Batman. Tonight ain't the night. I still got a baby to find. You want to hear... You want to fight a war about Batman tonight. Ain't the night. I still got a baby to find. <laughs> well, it most certainly is the night, Commissioner. He'll come back soon and the war will end. Well, today, October 1st, the 274th day of the year, the night I see Batman die painfully. Slowly, beautifully. My happiest birthday ever, Julian. Sorry to disturb you. But may I have a word? No sleep for almost a week. Little food, little water. I mean, of course you're going to go right back out and risk your life like the madman, like... Like, you risk your life taking a madman down. At least let me send the boys with you. They need to stay busy rounding up victims. Calendar man wanted me alone. He believes I'll be in no condition to face him. That these last few days would bring me to my knees. He's wrong. Gone! No. The days. They're all. Go ahead, Cash. Promise I won't laugh. S Sir, I'd really rather not share that bit of information. Then I order you. Then I'm afraid you just lost my vote. Nights like this make me wonder if I should have started down that crazy road in the first place. Daughter's idea. She's a brilliant idiot. Anyway, you're stalling. Answer the question. What's your biggest fear about the job? Well, 
I get rattled thinking one day I'm not going to be able to tell the crazies from the people we're supposed to be protecting. With all the madness we deal with on a pretty regular basis, what happens if I wind up accidentally killing someone? What happens is... You probably aren't a cop anymore. But you aren't alone with that fear. Evidently... You have to figure out how you're going to deal with it. My solution is dealing with a ton of other crap that scares me even more. Having a kid in this town will keep you up, up more nights than any lunatic in a costume. Yeah, well, Michelle and I, we can't. I just want to be a good cop, Commissioner. Then you're going to need to make that fear your partner, Cash. It's not always bad, and it'll remain, remind you of what really matters. I guess you're right. You know, Michelle, she's scared of something else entirely. What's that? That you'll win the election. Hardy har har. The company's here. You're having a bad day, bad birthday, Julian. And if you don't stop what you've been doing all week, it's going to get much worse. The days. Your plans are always so elaborate. This one in particular. Exactly how many death traps did you fit into this place anyway? They're coming for me. My fear, Julian, is that you this time, is that this time you would have done it with the condition he's in. And I'm afraid I just can't let that happen. I can't allow you to kill the Batman. Not now, when I'm so close to having him and this city finally under my thumb. The days are burning away. For a man obsessed with marking his days, your timing is grossly unfortunate. You mistake my obsessions for being weak, Crane. I am stronger than your potions. I have no idea of the nightmares I've created. Every tick of the talk. Ugh. I kill someone every day, Scarecrow. Today I was going to. It, today it was going to be the Batman, but now it's going to be you. Hmm. But I took pity on you, and using my old fear toxin, Julian, you forced me to break out the good stuff. If you follow your plan, Batman will defeat you like he always has. If you can be patient, though, this time it will be different. And you and all of your Arkham friends will have the greatest day of your lives. Got your call. Here's what we know. Missing newborn belongs to Caitlin Salazar. The assistant DA. Former, but yeah, quite... Quit to raise a family. Big void downtown. She was good. So good she put away Julian Day. You look like Hell's ugly stepson. Let my men help us. Calendar man wants me alone, Jim. Until the child is safe. I need to give him exactly what he wants. <clears throat> While so many of you were trapped inside the walls of Hugo Strange's Arkham City last year, I spent my time honing my craft. With the Joker gone, there's no anarchic clown desperately trying to keep Batman for himself while the rest of us are thrown to the sidelines. Batman wins because he believes we fear him. I don't need to tell you that Nothing could be further from the truth. I have found a new way to make sure he fears us 
forever, day after day, and year after year. And I have my own solution, Scarecrow, that I was also spent months perfecting. Physical threats are nothing to him, Julian. How many times must we learn the same lesson? Batman will win, and you will once again face a chasm of failure. Yeah. This is your lucky day, Calendar Man. Don't screw it up by treating it like all the others. Ooh. Gordon, I have the baby. <clears throat> what? Already? Day just simply gave him up. Don't have time to figure out why. Getting the baby out of harm's way is the priority. Send some of your people to the old Holiday Inn. The Holiday Hotel in Arkham Peninsula. Oh, if we're lucky, we might still get him. For seven days, I had him in my grasp, Scarecrow. All I ever wanted, and I let him go. For what? You let him go so you could guarantee that you will be there at his end. And trust me, that end is very, very close. Come, Calendar Man. All Hallows' Eve is right around the corner. Alright, and so that is the end of number 10 of the Batman Arkham Knight Prelude comic. So if you enjoy this and want to keep watching me read this, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment. I look at all comments. So, with that, I'll catch you all next time on Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace out.